What's up guys, I'm Dan Jong. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys all about my new YouTube studio. I've been working so hard for the past four weeks or so, and it's finally ready. All right, let me guys give you a quick tour. So as soon as you enter the studio, you're gonna notice my supplement area. So this is where I store my protein pre-workout, uh, vitamins, milk, so you name it. I got a bunch of other stuff as well uh, that's like hiding somewhere. So if you ever come to my studio, I'm gonna give you a protein shake or something. All right. So, and I also got a little like a foam roller, stuff like that, the small stuff. But let me go straight into the workout area. I won't be able to introduce all of my equipment, I'll just introduce you some of the major ones. So, the first thing you'll notice is this cable machine right here. Um, I know this is not a body weight workout related equipment, but I love having a cable machine because it is so useful, especially when you're doing like a unilateral workout or also it's great for any type of uh, warm up. I like it, especially for the front lever. If you do like a straight on pull downs, it feels very much like a front lever pull or I like it for like a internal external rotation, shoulder rehab or prehab as well. And then let's move on to the next section. And then you'll notice I got the stall bars, pull up bars and these rings. So let me start with the pull up bar first. And then you're gonna notice that this pull up bar is actually really high and I can barely touch it when I jump high. And this is not uh, set up so high so that I can do a pull up but it's actually to have my straps hanging from really tall um, height because i hate having a ring strap being super short I, I have to have the ring strap as long as possible so good thing that the ceiling isn't too low uh, it's actually relatively high it's decent so there's a big difference between having a short strap and the long strap for the rings and next thing you're going to notice the stall bars I love having these stall bars for my hanging leg lift because it keeps my back completely flat. So it's gonna make the exercise a lot harder. And then I just love uh, in general to stretch my legs. Uh, it's great uh, for having a flexibility exercise as well. And then let's move on. Moving on to the next section. And then I got this half rack right here. And although I rarely use, do like a barbell workout, I do you still do have a half rack because I didn't want to um, remove that as an option. But although it's a half rack, it's actually quite uh, useful because I got this actually, these are the dip bars that you can attach to any type of the holes right here. So you can use it for a dip bar, but I use, mainly use it for the neutral grip pull up or do like a front lever row because if I place it pretty high like that and then if I grip it pretty close, towards here, it becomes more like a neutral grip. And because this rack is actually already high, I can do a pull up with just, uh, with my legs being just a little bit bent. And if you look, notice the pull up bar right here is actually quite high. And even if I reach all the way up here, I can kind of grab it, right? So I actually hate having a pull up bar that's really low because if I do a pull up, I don't like having to have the legs bent. I love having keeping my legs straight. So I actually customize this rack so that this pull-up bar is actually much higher, but not so high that I have to jump. It just that if I can just just barely touch it with my tippy toe. And obviously I got these barbells as well. And then we got this incline bench, but I want to move on to the next section which is right in the corner here. It's pretty tight. This is probably one of my proudest and then my favorite area because I got all these accessories and it just looks so pretty because, I don't know, they just align very nicely. But probably the, one of my favorite things here is this uh, massage gun right here. Uh, it's this one, it's quite useful for my warm up and then post workout as well. And then once you get this massage going on your hand, you never do another workout without it. You just get addicted so fast. And then I got a bunch of other stuff like this lacrosse ball, some mini bands, and a bunch of other pull-up bands right here, dip belt, 
yoga straps, this fat bar, and this forearm massage thing that I really love as well. It's great to relieve some pressure on my uh, forearms. So I also got this adjustable dumbbells right here. Uh, you can adjust from five pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. And it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I, think, I honestly think it's a really ugly design, but to save some space, that was the only option to get the adjustable dumbbells. So I'll use this sometimes, but not so much. And lastly, I wanted to introduce to my parallettes section. I got a bunch of other parallettes in different heights. So I got this tall one first. So I like using this one mainly to do some front labor holds and also doing some maybe like a L sit leg lift, stuff like that. And these are all useful. They're, although they're the, they look the same, uh, having different heights is actually very, very useful. So I got this tall ones that's right here. So I can do a full range of motion, hands and push-ups. And then I also got these really light and small parallettes. These are mostly for travel. They're so light, like if I, if I, if I, <laughs> shit, I accidentally hurt myself. But anyway, so if you just, just throw this around, they're barely weighing nothing. And then I also got this metal ones. These are quite solid. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then right next to my workout area, this is my work area where I do some edits and work on my online programs. And the reason I got my own studio is to work on my YouTube mainly. And also I want to focus on teaching people in the online. So I might start doing some like online programming, sell some online um, coaching programs as well. So stay tuned for that. It's definitely coming in the near future. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my quick tour of my small studio. It's quite small but, and compact, but I got everything I need, so I'm very satisfied. All right, so I can't wait to do all the stuff I'm gonna do here and stay tuned for my next updates. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, like always, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.